All right, we're getting the field in formation, folks. Four wide to salute you, the fans. Get on your feet, wave your hats, your programs, your kids, whatever you got. Send these drivers on 25 laps the distance in the Burger Barn, Northern Summer Nationals. Flag racing next time by with Tom Hoopin and Glenn Styers on the front row. The winner, a guaranteed starter in the ninth annual Canadian Sprint Car Nationals brought to you by Air Express. Two by two. Twelve rows of beautifully prepared sprint cars ready to come to life. Tom Hoopin and Glenn Styers on the front row. Ah, and Speedway, you came looking for a show. Well, here you go. Let's end all the anticipation as we bring to you our feature presentation. And a slow start up to the chop line there. Tom Hoopinen with the early lead, but Shane Stewart dives it down to the inside. Hoopinen's going to get a good run out of turn two, though. Shane Stewart, the two-time Canadian Sprint Car Nationals winner. 
slips into the lead and gets right up in front of Tom Hooper to the lead lap one. Big trouble up in corner number four. Todd Hoddick appears to have lost a wheel up there. So Haver Daniels, actually the driver that lost the wheel, Todd Hoddick has spun out as has the 43 of Scott Shirk. Gene Stewart jumping out to the early lead. We've got Todd Hoddick in the 49, the 9NZ of Howard Daniels, and the 43 of Scott Shirk with three cars involved. One in, 24 to go. So a tough break for Haver Daniels, his best ever finish here at weekend on Friday night, a fifth place. So the call of Ready to go back to green flag racing machine. Stewart, your leader. They'll go single file past that orange restart cone on the front stretch. Field bunching back up. Dale Shenham with the green flag in hand. 24 laps to settle it. Let's get back at it. So here we go. Single file past the cone. And Shane Stewart gets a great restart. Takes it right up to the top side. Tony Stewart puts a slider on Tom Hoopin, and now here comes Hoopin and back to the inside down the back stretch. Hoopin and down to the inside of Tony Stewart. Can't make it stick, and Stewart will hold down the second position. So it's the Stewart Stewart show at the front. Travis Cunningham gathers up the 71 and keeps it going straight in corner four. Well, Glenn Steyer's made up a spot there, got around Jessica Zemkin, but now Zemkin back around him. Behind them, three wide for the sixth spot between Collins. Goldner and Mitch Brown. Travis Cunningham will take the 75, 71 to the pit area now. Shane Stewart, your leader. Tony Stewart in second. Man, what a fight this is going to be if Tony can get up there towards the leader. So Shane Stewart puts a lap now on Scott Shirk, puts him between himself and Tony Stewart. Single file in the top five or six back behind them. It's three and four wide for some of those positions. Lap traffic already a factor on lap five for Shane Stewart. Looking to get around the 5C of Connor Mahoney. He's also got the 81 of Derek Jonathan. Troubles for Todd Hoddick. He'll pull right up in front of the leader. And the yellow will come out as Hoddick will come to rest up high in corner four. Boy, and Tony Stewart really made up a lot of ground there as Shane Stewart had trouble in the traffic. Not sure what got. So white flag out will be green next time by Shane Stewart, your restart leader. Second is Tony Stewart. Then it's the lap machine of Scott Shirk in the 43. Currently third is Tom Hoopin in the 27H. Then it's the 1Z of Jessica Zemkin and the zero of Glenn Styers rounding out the top five. 20 laps to settle it. Shane Stewart, Tony Stewart, the top two. Lap car in between them and third. Green flag out. We're back on it. So the Stewarts take off out front. Shane to the bottom. Tony to the top. Who's going to get the butter runner to corner two? Glenn Styers, meanwhile, trying to get by the lap car of Scott Shirk, who we had problems with on Friday night. He'll dive down to the inside of Jessica Zemkin. Can't make the move stick. Shane Stewart again to the bottom side in one and two, and Tony Stewart up to the top side, pretty much even through those sets of corners, and both of them take the top groove through three and four. Completing lap number seven of this one, Tony Stewart up high, Shane Stewart now working down low. We've seen him down there plenty of times, Canadian Spring Fair Nationals weekend. He's high in three and four, low in one and two. Yeah, and that's exactly how he got the feature wins in the Canadian Spring Fair Nationals, as that top side Usually it goes away a little bit, but right now still pretty strong up in one and two for Tony Stewart. Lap traffic already a factor again, and we've only been three laps of going back to green flight racing. A tour of pace for the leaders, and now they try to get around Connor Mahoney. Shane Stewart holds on to it. And Shane had to go to the top side there to get around Mahoney. We'll see if that helps him to find anything down there. He's got to get through this traffic here 
as they run too wide in front of them. Ben Steyer's at fourth, burned it off of corner number two there, and lost ground through Jeff's possession. At the front, though, Shane Stewart, heavy, heavy traffic as he tries to work around down the bottom side. Tony Stewart right behind him, not too far back. Chris Steele also up in this. I think he might be a lot far, though. And Stewart slides a lot far on Martin there. And he's losing ground now to Shane Stewart up front. He will get by these lap cars easier than Tony Stewart's done so far. He'll work to the outside of Steve Goldner. Now on the back, nerf bar of Kyle Moffat slips down to the inside and will make that pass. Coming up on the halfway signal this time by, 13 laps and 12 to go for your leader, Shane Stewart. But here comes Tony Stewart on the bottom. Missed his mark there in turn two, and now Shane takes off again. So the leader is working it off of corner number four. Shane Stewart now to the bottom of Steve, uh, the doctor, Steve Collins. And Tony Stewart mired right now behind Keith Dempster. He'll continue to work that high groove. This time by Shane Stewart has a 1.5 second lead over Tony Stewart and two lap cars between him and the leader. Almost a straightaway lead now for Shane Stewart. 16 laps now complete, nine to go for Tony Stewart who brushed the wall, I believe, that time by. You see the white on the tire. Yeah, definitely some sparks off the right rear of Stewart's car as well. As Jessica Zemkin, Glenn Stires, and Dane Nida currently up in the top five. Shane Stewart back into some heavier traffic. He's right behind Jamie Collard. Tony Stewart down to the inside of Connor Mahoney. And Trouble up in corner number two. Kyle Moffat keeps the throttle in it, keeps it going, but yellow flag is out. Well, Kyle Moffat in the F37 went for a spin up there in turn two. Kept the throttle in it, but the yellow flag came out as he was pretty much at a stand. Steve Collins and the 27H of Tom Hoopinen. Only eight cars left on the lead lap at this point. Shane Stewart, Tony Stewart at the front. Who's it gonna be? Let's find out here. Eight laps to settle it. Green flag is in the air. And Tony Stewart dives down lower, trying to get some sort of an advantage on Shane Stewart. Stewart, Tony Stewart gets a great run out of turn two that time. Dives it down low in three, and Tony Stewart, the new leader. Here comes Shane Stewart back to the bottom, though. Wow, back and forth action at the front. Tony Stewart, that might have been his chance. We'll find out. Here comes Shane Stewart, the leader, down into corner number three. Shane Stewart ran the top side that time by, and now Tony Stewart hits the cushion upside down hard in turn four. Red flag for Tony Stewart up in corner number four. Caught the cushion at corner three and went for a wild ride. Tony Stewart end over end over end. Clinton Jeffrey on his way there to the scene. White flag displayed next time by. We go back to green flag racing. All right, ready to get back out of with six laps to go. Shane Stewart drops the loud pedal and he pulls away in a hurry. Glenn Stires has got to get by the lapped car. 
of Steve Collins as quickly as possible. Can't do it yet out of turn two. Now he'll clear the 67 to try to go after Shane Stewart. Coming off of corner number four, the big high five from Dale Shuneman. Five more trips around for Shane Stewart. He has hooked up. Glenn Stiers a long way back to try and catch him. Shane Stewart hit the cushion pretty hard up there in turn four the last time, but he's still got a healthy lead over Glenn Stiers as we work lap number 21 now. Already the leader in the lap traffic. This will be the only thing that can help Glenn Stiers. They'll work around the shirt 43. Next up, Connor Mahoney. Shirt got really sideways down in turn four the last time. Shane Stewart had to have a scare there, but he keeps it going. And under green flag racing, three to, or two to go this time by for Shane Stewart. Stewart up top this time through one and two, getting around Connor Mahoney. Glenn Steyer staying about the same distance back right now. We don't have a differential because of the problem on the scoring sheet. But the white flag is out. Shane Stewart is the leader, entering heavy, heavy traffic. Steyer's up top. He's going to run it off corner two and flips it up at corner two. Red flag out for Glenn Stiers. It's the second time the runner-up car has gone over this time up in corner number two. He's out of the car. He's all right with a big smile on his face. Glenn, this is a horrible way for you to meet me. Two race nights in a row here in turn two with your car on its roof. What happened? This time I seen a car get around in front of me. And again, these cars don't turn real easy. And uh, I just hit, the, hit this rough stuff here and a car just grabbed me and took me flipping. And uh, man, we had a good car. I know we couldn't have beat Shane, but we would have kept up. We would have had a solid second again. I mean, it was just, just a bad night again, darn it. <laughs> what I always told my racing buddies is if you can't win, be spectacular. And you certainly were that tonight, Glenn. Thanks a lot for the awesome show. I know the fans are happy with it. Too bad you couldn't get her done, boss. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said last week, you can't get a ride like this at Canada's Wonderland. That's what we do it here. All right, Glenn, thank you. Glad to see you're all right. He's going to take the long walk back to the pits. How about a fan? Styers is all right. Has also flirted with that cushion up in, cushion up in turn four as well. So far, he's been able to keep it straight and steady for most of this race. One of the only drivers under the 14-second barrier in this race. Here we go. Green flag out, two laps to go. And Shane Stewart squirts away, gets away from the lap cars and Jessica Zemkin. We will come down this time by and see the white flag of Zemkin just clearing the lap traffic now. Jim Hoopinen was in the top five, took the 14H to the pit area. We stay green flag, Shane Stewart way out front now. Half a lap to go for the two-time Canadian Sprint Car Nationals winner. He's going to add the... Burger Barn, Northern Summer Nationals title to his win list. Shane Stewart will go to Quad Synthetic Canada Victory Lane. Jessica Zemkin in second. Third will go to Dane Nida. Shane Stewart, your winner in the 3G. Jessica Zemkin in the 1Z will finish second. And Dane Nida gets a very much needed top three here tonight. He'll be happy, I'm sure, to come home with a podium finish. We are going to send it down to Clot Synthetic Lubricants Canada. Victory Lane, Clinton Jeffrey, Tommy Gooch down there. So Shane Stewart out of the car, make some noise for him, your Northern Summer Nationals winner. 
And uh, that was a tough 25 laps. You had to get through some traffic there. The cushion was pretty heavy up at turn four, and uh, you kept everybody behind you, though. Yeah, the car was really good. And restarts, I knew Tony was going to be pretty strong in those restarts. It's kind of hard to know exactly where to go. You know, you kind of want to block your line, but I knew the top was going to be a little bit quicker, and uh, I'm not really sure what happened to him, but I uh, hate to see a guy like that fall out of a race. But um, just can't thank my guys enough. They always give me a great car, especially here, and I'm and, um, just really proud to uh, get this win for Joe and, and Tim and Cindy. And This is like a 12-year-old uh, Gertie engine underneath the hood, so uh, it held together, and, and uh, the Hoosier tires, cool chassis, everything did, did its job. Well, uh, this uh, race comes with a guaranteed starting spot in the Canadian Sprint Car Nationals. You're a two-time winner of that. What's it mean to be locked into the feature on the Saturday night in September? A lot. I mean, um, this is the first time we brought this chassis here, and we were we came here um, wanting to do a little test and tune for that race. And it's obviously a big race on my schedule, and I always enjoy coming here. And you guys do a great job at this racetrack. And just uh, can't thank Glenn and all the guys that work hard here. And, um, I think we learned a little bit and, and um, look forward to that race for sure. So now we look ahead to tomorrow night, and uh, you'll be back with the 410 under the hood. What do you think you got for him in that one now that you have some test laps here tonight? Well, I mean, it's uh, obviously a totally different night and, and a lot more competition. But, you know, we've been knocking on the door, winning a couple outlaw races with this, with this team. And tomorrow uh, would be a, a great time to win a race, especially going into the Nationals, the Knoxville Nationals. And... Love to go into that race on, on a high note, and um, you know I honestly feel like we got a good enough shot to win tomorrow if everything plays in our hands. So we'll see what happens. Well, you got a lot of people that uh, help you get here to the Clot Synthetics Victory Lane. Who do you want to thank? Uh, of course, you know jo Joe and, and everyone at Gertie Engines, uh, Tim and Cindy at XYZ Machining, uh, cool chassis. Uh, you know they all do their part, and, and they always make me look good. There he is. That's Shane Stewart. He's your winner in the Burger Barn Northern Summer Nationals for the Corpac Merchandising Sprint Cars. Got second place here, Jessica Zemkin. Jessica, great run tonight. I mean, you just couldn't quite catch Shane tonight, but he's always tough when he comes to the Big O. So are you, though? Great runs in second. You've got to be pretty pleased with that. Yeah, we uh, definitely have our work cut out to uh, get as good as Shane is here. Uh, we weren't a great car tonight. We were probably a third or fourth place car, but you know, when the, the track's like that and you're coming into lap traffic and with a big cushion like that, you really have to be a little cautious. Um, that thing will suck you in and flip you over pretty easy. Um, so I was just trying to drive uh, the car that I had. We just uh, we got some work to do. Hopefully we learned some stuff tonight to help us out tomorrow with the 410 and help us out at the Nationals at the end of the year. I got to thank uh, Miles and Pam and Alex uh, Hill for letting me run their motor tonight. And, uh, it was an awesome piece, and I hope we get to run it again. And uh, I got to thank all my crew guys. I got to thank Core Pack Merchandising, John and Wendy, um, all my modified crew guys that came to help me this week, uh, Jeremy Wilder and his guys, and uh, Darren and Rick and um, the Hills Motorsports guys again, and Core Pack, and I got a great bunch of people behind me. So solid finish, and uh, we'll take it. Look for Jessica Zemke to be a force to reckon with tomorrow. We'll get over here and get third place, a quasi-teammate to Jessica, if you will. Dane Knight, a good run for you, Dane. Uh, good to see you back on the podium, buddy. Yeah, thanks. It's been, uh, it's been a tough year prior to tonight. My, uh, my third best finish was one and a quarter laps that I completed last week. So uh, to, to come up here and, and get on the podium on the three races we finished here, we got a second and a third. So I wasn't that good. I had to kind of, I, I couldn't really run the top like I didn't do. I had to kind of cheat it a little bit. And, um, and not run right up against it, and I kept losing ground early on. I was good later on, but then we had a million lap cars, and some of those guys were just were just flat dicks about it. You know, they come on the radio and tell you to be courteous to the leader, and I motion the guy to go low when he kind of comes up, you know, comes up high and then tries to slide job me back. But other than that, we had a good car. I just wish we could have got them out of there and tried and see what we had for, you know, for Jessica. I know Shane was probably pretty tough, but congratulations to those guys, and we'll take third. Congrats to you. Get over there, get your top three photo, if you will, to grab your trophy. How about the folks, our top three, and all the racers who put on a fantastic show? They can hear you over in the pits. One big round of applause for everybody tonight, if you will. We'll see you tomorrow. Back to you, Greg, to take us home. Thanks, Clinton. Thanks, Tommy. So, again, Shane Stewart celebrates down in Clot Synthetic Lubricants of Canada. Victory Lane, the top three. Jessica Zemkin, second. Dane Knight, a third. Much friendlier top three than we saw last year at this time. Down in victory lane, everybody smiling.
So that will conclude things for tonight. We want to thank again the folks from Burger Barn. Don't forget if you're in the area tomorrow to stop by the Burger Barn. Open for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Stop by, say hi. Affordable food, great portions. We thank them very much at the Burger Barn for their support here of this event and for the night before the Nationals coming up in September. Tomorrow night, be right back here, 7.30 start time. It's the Aero Express Six Nations Showdown for the World of Outlaws SDP Sprint Car Series. We also have the affordable towing and recovery Thunderstocks on the card tomorrow night. So make sure you are back here. If you don't have a ticket yet, plenty of good seats remain. And you can get them down at the ticket office. Gates open here in the grandstand area at 3 o'clock. Pit area opens at noon. We would love to have you back tomorrow night. So on behalf of all of the track ownership, the staff, the officials, everyone that makes this race possible, and on behalf of my co-announcers, Tommy Gooch and Clinton Jeffrey, I'm Greg Kelman saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow night for the Aero Express Six Nations Showdown.